it's news time. Information is power. The current, the news headline. Afeni Ferry to Buhari. Restructure Nigeria before 2023 elections. The news in full. The pan Yoruba social political organization Afeni Ferry has restated its call on President Muhammad Buhari to urgently restructure Nigeria before the 2023 general election. The group, in a communique issued at the end of its meeting in Ijebu Day on Tuesday, said it took notice of President Muhammad Buhari's address at the United Nations, especially where he called for the reform of the world body and his recommendation of dialogue to resolve Palestinian and Israeli issues. It therefore enjoined the President to key into restructuring that it, Afeniferi, has been advocating as restructuring is similar uh, to the reform that the president wants to see at the United Nations. In the same vein, the dialogue our president recommended for Israel and Palestine is not different from meeting with ethnic nationalities and other stakeholders in Nigeria that we would that we have been advocating for. With the president stating his positions on these issues on the global arena, it is hoped that it would give a nod for them to be immediately affected in Nigeria. Afeni Ferry again reiterated its position that restructuring remains the panacea to solve the most various problems bedviling the country now. And we insist that this restructuring should be done before next elections in the country. In the meantime, every community must be at alert to realize that they must defend themselves from bandits who seem to have declared war on Nigeria, it said. The group also noted, with serious concern, the security problems that we are festering in the country. The meeting, therefore, for the obtained time, called on the federal government and security agencies to buckle up and, more, and be more decisive in the way they tackle security issues that have been living in Nigeria painful, short and brutish. We call on the government and security agencies to stop the kid glove treatment with which terrorist organizations uh, have, have, have been kidnapping people and the way they have been handled thereof. Afeni Ferry believes that terrorism and related vices, including kidnapping, are on the increase, in part because of the double standard being played by the government and security agencies on the matter, it said. The communique signed by Comrade Jari Ajayi, National Publicity Secretary of Afeniferi added that it is a known fact that Afeniferi strongly stands by the Southern Governors in their resolution on anti-greasing laws, on value-added tax, and on the person of Southern extraction becoming the President of Nigeria in 2023. We note with delight the cuts judgments that empowers the states to collect VAT. We urge state governments to further explore more areas to deepen democracy and enhance the frontier of true federalism in Nigeria. We therefore commend the steps taken by governors of the Southwest on the establishment of security networks like Amotekun and also in the Southeast, the Ebubiagu. We urge the national authorities to let those security networks be transformed into state police forces. We strongly believe that doing so will arrest the pace at which Nigeria is fast descending uh, when it comes to the state of Anomi, with respect to the terrorism on the increase in Nigeria. And this is the Afeni Ferry reacting to the federal government uh, about restructuring. This social political organization called the Afeni Ferry are uh, actually calling the federal government under President Muhammadu Buhari to take restructuring uh, serious, saying that uh, the, you know, the president is actually I went for the United Nations General Assembly, the 76th session, and um, he actually recommended dialogue to resolve the Palestinian and Israeli issue. And the Afeni Ferry is of the opinion that if the president can actually be advising that there should be a dialogue between the Palestinian and Israeli to resolve the issues between them, then the president himself should be able to do a uh, search and follow status quo, saying that the Afeni Ferry has been advocating uh, that restructuring is similar to the reform that President Muhammadu Buhari wants to see at the United Nations, saying that the dialogue 
that the president recommended for Israel, Israel and Palestine is not different from meeting with ethnic nationalities that are also, also clamoring for same. And therefore, they say that the president stating his position, uh, with the president stating his position on these issues, you know, uh, on the global arena, that it is also hoped that so far he can say it in the public space like that. Therefore, he should also be able to do same uh, in his country. Afeni Ferry says that uh, their position about restructuring remains the same because that is the panacea, that is the solution to solve the multivarious problems bedviling the country now and that they insist on restructuring uh, in Nigeria and this should be done before the next election in 2023. In the meantime, uh, that the restructuring will take place, the Afeni Ferry is of the opinion that the local community should go on with the security uh, with you know defending themselves uh, when it comes to the security issues, saying that uh, they must defend themselves from bandits who have seemed to declare war on Nigeria, and that uh, the group also noted that there are serious concerns uh, about the security problems in Nigeria, and the federal government seems to be quite silent about this because they have failed to declare this terrorist organization uh, de de declare these people as terrorist organization just like the Fulani killer, killer, killer men, and also the Boko Haram, uh, you know, Boko Haram is actually declared, but the Fulani men and some unknown, unknown gunmen, you know, the, the situation is pathetic, they kill police officers, they kill unarmed citizens, you know, and many other atrocities being committed by these people. And they are very, very of the opinion that the government and security agencies need to buckle up and be more decisive in the way they tackle security issues that have been made, making, uh, Nigeria, Nigerians living in pains and then, you know, brutish circumstances. Therefore, they called on the government and security agencies to stop their kid glove treatment, their pampering of terrorists and kidnappers because they are not handling them the way they should. And the Afghan very believes that terrorism and related vices, including kidnapping, are on the increase in the parts of the country because of the double standard being played by the government and security agencies on this matter. And the communique was signed by Comrade Jari Ajayi, the national publicity of the Afeni Ferry, saying that it is a known fact that Afeni Ferry strongly stands by the Southern governors in their resolution on uh, anti grazing laws and also the value added tax and on the person of Southern extraction becoming the president of Nigeria. And this were the agreement because we know that the anti open grazing law, uh, you know, about the killer men taking cows, roaming about like that. And this has been stopped. They, they are saying that they are in support of it. And also that the value added tax, you know, both Lagos and River State that are, that are still at the courts, you know, that they support it too. And also that the South, like the presidential, uh, you know, bid should actually be zoned back to the South, that they also support this. And they note that they deny that the court's judgment that empowers the states to collect VAT is actually, uh, should actually be followed. And they urge the state governments to further explore more areas to deepen.